Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today's video is going to be about your dream updates. I got a comment that said, do one called rating dream updates or something like that. Basically ask people for dream updates, but you rate them and give your opinion. Someone was responding to it and saying, oh, I thought you already did one of these. So I did a training time where you submitted your dream updates, but it was so long ago that some of the dream update ideas, for example, I think halters were in that video. Now we've had halters for how long? I asked you guys to submit your dream update ideas on Instagram. I'm just gonna go and read them off and tell you if I like the idea or not. I decided to start training Mongoose. This is the black Rabicano from that Jorvik Stables open house. I feel like I've only done Arabians for the past, I don't know how many training times, but it's been a theme now. The first idea says that you could have lead ropes. I think this is a really good one because we have halters now, but no lead ropes, which is very confusing. I'm not sure what the reason is behind why we don't have lead ropes for the halters. The next idea is where you can actually fall off if you jump the jump incorrectly. I think it would be cool if the horses had more of a personality other than they're not trained so they're slow, but they're trained so they're fast. The next idea is and ignore everyone and ignore everyone except club slash group button. We have that in certain areas. Even when you use it, like in those areas, let's say the riding hall, for example, which I guess this isn't as much of a problem now because there's actually a club riding hall. If we had a hide all players button, I'm sure they could still see us. And then people are going to come up to you and think that you're ignoring them. I just think and ignore everyone where they can't see you and you can't see them. I think that would be really cool. Someone's idea is unlimited star coins so <laughs> star stable they still have to function they have to pay their employees there have to be people behind the operation so i don't think that's a good idea someone says death of starter horse in story quest i feel like we've had mm, situations where our starter horse we are separated from them for a little bit it would make things interesting, but I don't want my starter horse to die, so I don't really like that idea. The next idea says, I want to pet our pets or play with them. Them hanging around our closet is sad. I agree with this one, because why are our pets stored in a closet anyway? That just seems really weird. At least with our horses, even though they're technically in a storage center. It says it's a paddock. Wait, doesn't it? If only the pets that are stored in our closet could be loose around our home stable. And I get maybe the balloons or the actual items. Those could stay in a closet. Like there's flowers, gift boxes, stuff like that as pets. I think our live animals need to be in a different area, like a room. The next idea says a button that would call your horse over to you or you over to them. I think that would be really handy, especially if you're at a horse buying area on update day and it's super busy and you can't see your horse. And I've lost my horse so many times. I know other people have too. Someone says, my dream is that they turn all the horses into cats. Cat stable sounds awesome. I wish that was a thing for April Fools one year. Also the last Christmas when we could ride different kinds of animals and slide them around on the ice. I thought that was really awesome. But if we had a giant cat as one of those animals, oh, that would be a dream. The next idea says to be able to flip the map like in Mario, the mirrored races, you know, everything would feel brand new for a while. I kind of miss being lost in the game and not knowing where stuff is. I think that would be an amazing idea 
there's different areas that I do miss exploring for the first time. Like I remember going from Steve's farm to the manor and like finding out there was a whole Silverglade manor. Another thing I was just talking about because with the new Steve's farm coming out, people were just thinking of the times that they've had in Steve's paddock because it's been a very popular hangout spot. Since all of these areas, like these classic barns and home stables are getting updated into newer, fresh buildings that fit Star Stable's style, you could log on and somehow change your game to, let's call it throwback mode. You can see the whole map like it was years ago. Kind of like that Wayback Machine, or is, it, is that what it's called? Where you can look up old websites, what they used to look like before. Kind of like that, but in Star Stable somehow. Even though I know that would probably never happen, I just wish. Not even to do quests or anything, because that would obviously be impossible to start like doing quests and races in old areas. I'm just saying just to be able to see the old areas. I mean, you can look at them on videos and stuff, but it's not the same as actually running through the areas. Someone's idea is a story quest where we go missing. I can see where you were going with that because there have been a bunch of missing characters in this game. Like, would we be running for some reason? Not exactly sure how that would work. But I think it's an interesting idea. Someone's idea is Idris as your pet. If Idris was a new pet option, I would log off this game and never come back. I can't think of anything more horrifying than going around and seeing little Idris in people's saddlebags. That is just straight up no. Someone says, sunglasses for your horse. I think that's a really cute idea. I feel like that would be really funny too. Someone says, I want more cats, like the big, thick, juicy ones. <laughs> Life is so hard. I agree. I definitely want a cat that's grumpy, a big, fluffy, squishy cat. I think we should have Persian cats or ragdoll cats or cats that look more like grumpy cat. I love these cats that we have. I have Snowball with me. They're the friendliest looking cats. They're so cute, but we need some mean looking cats too. Someone says, bigger walking pets, please just give me a large dog breed, please. I wonder why they don't already have big dog breeds. I Okay, I guess it's obvious because they clearly won't fit in the bag. But then again, this is Jorvik. Not everything is realistic, so maybe when the pets come out of the bag, they're big. And then when they go back in the bag, they're small dogs. That would be weird though, like having a tiny German Shepherd or something in your bag and then it coming out and being huge. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Someone says, I just really want an update where you can kill James. He's scammed me at Christmas. I'm not a big fan of James either, but I don't think violence is the answer. Let's just leave it at that. I think that's something to write in your journal and keep it there. Someone says their idea is that you can eat your horse and they can poop rainbow candy. I don't know where that idea came from. I don't think it's the worst idea I've ever heard. Maybe it's something that can be thrown out there for April Fool's Day. Not the eating your horse part. That won't be happening in this game, <laughs> no matter what. Someone says, taller characters, they're like 4'11". Yeah, our characters still look short next to the ponies, which is kind of weird, but you know, that's how it is. Why do the graphics look kind of like the Sims to me on the houses? I don't know why. Someone says their dream update is the game being deleted. <sighs> Earlier today, I bought this saddle pad because I thought it would look better with this outfit, but I can't decide if it does or not. Actually, this might be too dark. 
And then this saddle pad's too light. And it's the color of brown that's off from my pants. Earlier today, I was so immersed into making this outfit. That's why I'm pretending that it matches. <laughs> now I can't stop hiccuping. The next... <laughs> what is going on? I'm about to fail. Okay, that's dramatic. I wasn't about to fail. The next idea says weather. Oh yes, that would be amazing. If it could rain... You know, if you could choose, oh, you know, today, when I'm on this game, I want it to be raining or snowing. Someone says, I honestly wish we could try horses before buying them. I've heard this a lot. I think it's a good idea, and I even thought I saw a spoiler on YouTube about it. Maybe it wasn't actually a real thing. Maybe it was just something they were testing. I don't even know if they would lose money off of making the feature because maybe people would start trying horses and thinking, oh, I actually really want that horse. At the very least, being able to just test out the gates would be so helpful. The next one says, my dream is that there would be cars and trailers that you can drive around and use. I think it would be really cool to be able to trailer your horse around car stable again. My dream update is being able to have a big booty. I think that would just go along with the character update. People are saying, you know, we want different body types. The next one says, change the model of our stable, customize the stalls, floors, etc. At the very least, maybe a couple recolor options that you could have. I feel like that would be so nice. I'm saying that as the bare minimum. The next person says, I want to customize home stables, please. If our home stable also had an extension where you could go outside and see different pastures and maybe you could buy different pasture extensions and move your horses around to different pastures because you know not all your horses are gonna get along in one pasture probably the next one says i want first person point of view and running pet gorillas i want first person too i feel like that would be so cool but the running pet gorillas no I wouldn't want gorillas or monkeys. I'm scared of them. I actually don't think they would be as scary as Idris though. The next one says, more saddlebags so we can carry more pets at the same time. I feel like that would be doable because you could just have one running on one side and one on the other side. They wouldn't have to be on top of each other. They could just reverse the way that they're running. Someone says, Updated Dutch Warmbloods and Oldenburgs. I like that idea. If we could just have more Warmbloods and more kinds of Warmbloods, that would be so nice. Horse blankets. Imagine if we could put our horse in sheets, blankets. I guess in other places they're called rugs, not blankets and sheets. They could even go and do fly masks and fly sheets if they wanted to and all- There's so many things that they could do with that. Someone says, Our character was moving to Jorvik to go to an academy, so we should have one. Maybe if it was a school about horses and you could go to the school and the only topic would be horse related because this is Star Stable. That would actually be really fun. Star Stable High, like Royal High, if it was anything like Royal High in Roblox but Star Stable themed, oh, I would be drooling over it. Someone says, correct leads and posting diagonals. Yes, please, please. Oh, that would be amazing. I love that. Someone says, Daily login rewards and unlimited shillings. I don't know why we have a 10,000 shilling limit. If anyone knows why, let me know because I surely don't know. I think the daily login rewards would be so cool. Kind of like Alicia Online where when you log in there you get... You get some... Oh my gosh, I haven't played that game in so long. I don't even remember what you get. But if they gave something like 
carrots for your horse or an apple or a couple Yorvik, not a couple Yorvik shillings, but like 25 or something. I think that would be great. And I feel like that would bring a lot of people just to log in. Someone says, your own riding arena connected to your home stable and you could set your own courses of jumps or obstacles. Yeah, kind of like how at the riding hall or at the Moorland arena, you can change the course. I think that would be amazing. Oh, <gasps> what is going on with the horse? Someone working at Goldspur Farm is putting something in the horse's food. <laughs> the next one says, a star coin code for your birthday. I think that would be awesome if when you join or something, you put in your birthday and it's something that can't be changed for the account. I can see how if it were a small amount of star coins, like maybe around 50 or something, I don't know. I can see how it would be a doable idea. I wish I could read more of these submissions because especially the dream update ones, somebody is trying to rickroll the video again. Oh my gosh! Once again, I'm ending a training time video at Goldspur with an Arabian. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for submitting your amazing dream update ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye!